Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now, when you saw the title say that this is the biggest acne news that has come out in the whole year, but realistically ever, this is the biggest news that has ever come out. I honestly don't know how nobody else is covering this, but there is currently an anti-acne vaccine that is being worked on and should be done within the next one to two years years. I mean, you know what that means. You know what a vaccine is. Basically, this would mean that we're able to eliminate, eradicate acne. So when you are a little baby, little kid, you just get an acne vaccine and then you never have to deal with acne ever. And when, you know, all of us who have dealt with acne and are dealing with it right now are older and we have, you know, kids and grandkids, our grandkids are going to be saying, Grandpa, I don't even know what acne, like, what are you even talking about? That's like talking about a cassette tape. What? What's acne? I don't have that. I've never even, I got the acne vaccine. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty pumped about this. I've been looking into it, trying to get as much information as possible. And now I want to present it to you so that you can be up to date as to where this vaccine is and what's going to happen when it comes out. Okay, so the head of the research team of this vaccine is a professor of dermatology at the University of California, San Diego. Shout out to my hometown. And this is basically what we have so far. So let's look at this article where he talks about it and gets an interview. So far, the vaccine has only been tried on animals and human skin samples, it uses antibodies to target a toxin secreted by the bacteria responsible for acne. This is explained by the study author Chun Ming Huang. He's a professor of dermatology. Potentially, such a vaccine could help the 85% of US teens and more than 40 million Americans who suffer with lesions, scars, and the emotional stigma of acne, he added. According to Huang, the efficacy of this vaccine has been validated in human acne biopsies. It works to reduce inflammation in acne lesions. If the results of clinical trials are positive, it's possible the vaccine could be available within three to five years. Now, what's crazy about this is I scroll up and I check the date that this was published, and it was published in 2018. We're now in 2021, as you probably know. So we're three years basically into it. At most, with his time window, he's saying that two more years is the upper limit of how long he was expecting this to take, which means that we could see that first rollout of the acne vaccine in 2023, maybe 2024. Now, of course, a lot of us know this, but acne afflicts 650 million people, almost one in 10. The eighth most common disease worldwide. The proposed acne vaccine focuses on acne causing bacteria that is common on human skin. The study authors explain this bacteria known as P. acnes releases a toxin known as CAMP. In theory, the vaccine works by generating antibodies that eliminate this toxin. Once the toxin is neutralized, inflammation in the acne lesion will be suppressed, Huang said. Testing with mice and human skin samples show that the vaccine significantly diminishes both P. acnes colonization and inflammation, whether such success can be replicated by direct administration to people remains to be seen, however. Interesting. Okay, so they've done some trials on pieces of skin that have been removed from a human body as the body was alive, and then they tested it on that skin, which then was dead. Uh, and they also tested it on mice, it looks like. So that's kind of like how it goes with tests. Um, I honestly didn't even realize that mice had acne, but maybe they don't have acne, they just have the P. acnes bacteria. And I, I don't know, that's weird, but imagine a mouse with a pimple. Like little Stewart. Okay, that's enough of that. To me, honestly, though, it sounds like the results are pretty promising. It sounds really like they're just having to find uh, the right way to test real humans and go through that whole trial because there is so much safety and all this stuff when it comes to doing those tests and you have to do it so rigidly and all this stuff. So I'm sure they're probably already in those human experiments with people who are willing to try it out. So hopefully we get some updates soon, but here's how I want to finish this article out. So a guy named Emmanuel Kantasat is a dermatology faculty member at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. He says, it's important to understand that P. acnes comes in various strains, some good and some bad. The good ones participate actively in skin barrier integrity, notably by preventing harmful bacteria to, pro to proliferate. The bad ones are involved in acne. Any effective and safe vaccine must target the bad bacteria while preserving the good ones, he stressed. In fact, targeting the wrong antigen might worsen patients' condition by disturbing skin integrity. Now, that part I think is very interesting because obviously it's very exciting. I like to hear about these kind of developments, but I more like to hear that they're doing their due diligence. They're really looking at any sort of side effects or any sort of long-term issue that could sprout from getting too exuberant and pushing this out too quickly. So they, they're really thinking about what could go wrong in the future and how can we address that before it ever even happens. And 
So yeah, if you're a, <laughs> a university professor of dermatology, you should probably know that there's different types of P. acne bacteria, some good, some bad, that just kind of, you know, show us, you and me, the, the layman's people who don't know as much as them, why this is taking so long, why they haven't just pushed it out if they've already seen some success in the earlier preliminary trials. It's because they really wanna vet out every possibility, make sure that it is as best as it possibly can go before they put it into human trials, because if they go through human trials and they have side effects or it doesn't work as planned, they'll have to restart the whole thing or scrap the project because they don't have enough research money. Like I said earlier in the video, this is, in my opinion, the biggest news about acne that we've ever had. Maybe since Accutane came out. I don't know. I think maybe even, no, definitely bigger. This would just eliminate acne from ever existing. You just would not have lesions ever. Imagine that. Imagine never having a pimple when you grew up or even more effectively, maybe you and me who really, really intimately know what it's like to have acne, especially severe acne. Imagine being able to just go to the doctor next month. You get it it's gone. All of a sudden, all your acne, you start seeing all your pimples just disappear like the quickest version of Accutane ever with none of the side effects. And then from that point on, you always have that buttery, smooth skin that all of your friends who eat trash and drink alcohol and don't take care of themselves and rub body wash on their face and still have immaculate skin, you would have that same skin. It's mind blowing. It almost doesn't even seem real to me, but I've always thought of this. I've always thought, man, at some point they're going to have a vaccine because they can, they can figure out anything if you give them enough time. So my question for you, you is would you get the acne vaccine today and if you had a kid would you give your kid the acne vaccine so that that kid never had to deal with acne i think i would i mean as much as you've heard me say throughout the years that acne has been a blessing that's taught me so much that's 100 percent true but in my mind state back when i was dealing with my acne at its worst and i jumped on accutane i would have done anything i, I would have climbed the highest mountain i would have drank in all of the urine in the world i would <laughs> i would have done any sort of crazy stuff to get rid of that acne and so at that point if somebody had said hey we got this vaccine it can get rid of your acne it's shown a lot of good promise it's been out in testing for about a year let's do this i'd have been like let's go let's get it done so i want to know what you guys think of the comments below. This is exciting. It's interesting. I love bringing the updates and news to you guys. So I wanted to bring this to you. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Give this video a big old thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, it helps it get out to way more people. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit that notification bell because that's really how we get these videos out to more people. And if you haven't checked out my favorite skincare line in the world, you absolutely should. It's called Banish. It is by far the best products that are out there in the acne and skincare community. All small batch made, all vegan, cruelty free, and all natural. So check it out. Use Brian5 for $5 off your first order of 50 or more. Put the link in the description below. And with that, my beautiful friends, this is the end of the video. Remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful. You are part Team Acne. I'll see you skin bosses in the very next video.